what up what up how's it going hope you're having a beautiful day and this is Jorge once again aka Truth Bombs aka Gay Tapster I'm thinking about that one anyway yeah about which one is the best anyway what I wanted to talk to you about today is I know I'm messy. I know I'm messy. I know I'm messing up a lot, but we're still going because I like to show my realness to the world. It makes me feel better, and I feel like people can relate to that more. Anyway, maybe not. <laughs> so, throughout my life, I've been forced, I feel like I've been forced to choose between freedom or my comfort zone, being comfortable. It's like, which one do I choose? Either being comfortable or freedom. And to be honest, throughout my life, up to a certain point, I was a uh, comfort, comfort, comfort. I, all I wanted was comfort because it feels good. It's like what I know at that moment and what's what I can relate to at that moment. So I choose comfort. But eventually I realized that, hey, I wasn't getting what I wanted out of life. I feel like, you know, if I, if I got something that I didn't have already, it felt like it wasn't me. It felt like I was being fake. So eventually I was like, you know what? I was fed up. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go for freedom. And it was a, definitely it was a very very fearful path I mean there's still a lot of fear now but which I'll talk about in a few but it was a lot of fear a lot of a lot of pressure a lot of a lot of discomfort like I'm comfortable uncomfortable to the point that I wanted to give up you know but then I realized like hey why why not choose both why not choose freedom and choose comfort at the same time and here's the thing it's hard to do that at first but it's all about practicing it it's all about focusing on that like huh how can I do both even though you might not know like I can guide you through it if you have any questions but all I want to say in this video is uh, It's possible. It's possible to choose the two of them. Comfort and freedom. And how do you do that? It's all about being comfortable with the uncomfortable. You might have sound you might have heard of this before, but it's true. It's all about being comfortable in the with the uncomfortable. And yeah, by the way, I'm just here chilling. Like I just got done with my workout, ate some food, a lot of fruits. <laughs> I love fruits. And a big salad with, I just bought some spirulina and chlorella today. And oh my God, I didn't know spirulina is actually the most, uh, it's the, it's a, one second, let me, let me, let me, look over it again but it's a thing that has the most protein in the world what does it say here real quick yeah it's the world's highest known source of protein spirulina anyway so yeah if you ever get the chance check out spirulina super healthy anyway yeah, I'm about to shower, by the way, so... But I feel like sh making a... You know, sharing this video today because I've been thinking about it a lot. And today I've tried, for the first time, jumping rope. Jumping rope. And it's very uncomfortable, to be honest. But I'm like, no, we're, we're doing it, though. We're doing it. And it's all about repetition. That's what I realized because right now I'm about to take a cold shower as I usually do. And I actually love it because it makes me feel alive. It makes me, it wakes me up. It's like, whoa, 
even though I do it at night, it wakes me up, and it's weird. Once I feel awake, I feel I go to sleep like a baby. It's weird. Like even though it wakes me up, like I used to take them in the morning and it wakes me up throughout the day. But if I take them at night, it does wake me up. But then I can I can sleep like a baby after. It's weird. Anyway, how I learned to love because this. It's pretty um, like one of the practices that I can give you right now to learn to love being uncomfortable or being comfortable with the uncomfortable cold showers I'm telling you <laughs> cold showers and to be honest let me switch hands real quick I'm getting a tripod or something or a selfie stick because Make, let's make it more convenient and I'm pretty sure they're not that expensive you know I can buy other stuff but why not do something that I will actually love that will implement to the lifestyle that I want to live like sharing and giving value sharing my journey sharing my lessons sharing what I'm practicing with the world and maybe inspire somebody along the way Anyway, so cold showers, how I learned to love them is simple. It's all about just doing it. And I realized eventually that it's, it's about realizing that, hey, that feeling, that feeling right there of discomfort, it's going to go away. And here's the thing. I'll be fine in the end. I'll be fine. Am I still here? Yes? Okay, we're good. Was it uncomfortable? Yeah. Did it hurt a little bit? Maybe. Not with showers though. Not with, not with cold showers. Okay, sometimes. If it's really cold. Anyway. But hey. I'm still here. I still have my hands. Like the, This is what I learned from my mentor. Maximilian Berger. A.K.A. RSD Max. Yeah, he's a pickup instructor, dating coach. And yeah, it's all about that, realizing that you'll be fine no matter what. So yeah, with cold showers, it's gonna feel uncomfortable, but then I realize that it's just a feeling. And like any other feeling, it's gonna go away. So even sadness, anger, depression, happiness, excitement laughter it's gonna go away so why not just take it all in like learn from it and just bring it in like it's it's part of life it's part of the journey it's part of the game instead of being the character why not be the player which don't worry about it <laughs> i can talk about it in a different video which i've learned from another mentor Julian Blanc. Anyway, yeah, it's all about learning to love that feeling. And how how I learned to love that feeling, how I've been told to learn to love that feeling, and it actually works for me. Might work for you. Just saying. Seriously. It's all about accepting it. Like being aware of it, accepting it, and just being with it. Just being with it. Because a lot of the times, how I used to do it at first with the cold showers is just run away from the feeling. Instead of just being with it, like, hmm, this is how I feel when I'm taking a cold shower. This is how I feel. Like, this is how my body feels. Basically, it's getting out of my head and into my body. How does my body feel? It feels uncomfortable. It feels like... It feels like... I want to get out of it. Feels like, you know, like shivers and everything. But hey, like any other feeling, it's gonna go away. So why not just enjoy it? Because the bad makes the good even better. Imagine, imagine living in a world like this. May sound like not true to you at first, but. If you think about it, if life was all good, 
good, good, good, positive, positive, positive all the time, it would become dull. It would become just like background, just like blur, like blur, you know. But with life being happy, sad, positive, negative, it, it makes it. It makes it makes me feel alive. It makes me feel like whoa, this is life. You know, I feel so positive all the time. I feel like I wouldn't appreciate it. And even if I were able to appreciate it, it's just boring. It's just dull. But I'm okay with that being true. Ever, you know what I mean? Like if it was all positive. I'm okay with that. If it was dual all the time, I'm okay with that. But I don't choose that at the moment because I want life to be fun. This is this is my meaning. This is what my mentor says, and I do believe him. There is Julian Blanc, by the way, great guy. Also, another dating instructor. <laughs> yeah, I'm very into that. I love that. I'm loving that. Is that there is no meaning to life? Yeah, I was like, what was I talking about? There is no meaning. <laughs> there is no meaning to life, which could be very nihilistic, like very like, oh my god, and what's the point of living? But how I see it, and how he he allowed me to see it, is that hey, if there is no meaning to life, it means that I can create my own meaning. I can have my own freedom. I can do whatever I want. And as soon as I live up to my own authenticity, to my own self, that's where the two, being comfortable and freedom come together. Being comfortable, being uncomfortable. Being comfortable and being uncomfortable. Being myself, living my own authenticity at its core. That's what it is. That's that's how you combine the two. Anyway, that's what I wanted to share today with you. It's been it's been changing my life, and it's changing my life. It's really awesome. So I thought I will share that with you. Maybe I'll watch this in the future and be like, hey, that was a good reminder. Maybe I'll inspire somebody along the way. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a beautiful day. Hope you keep having a beautiful day. For that, stay blessed. Peace.